The day of the closing, we flew in, we were very excited, and the other stipulation was that he would install... He was supposed to move out by a certain yeah. time. He did it, but he paid out. you the fine for not moving out. But what it did was it prevented you from doing that final walkthrough. The proper Absolutely. walkthrough. Absolutely. And had you done the final walkthrough... We would have found the according hole to you, the floor. Yes, but also, tell me Put about the, the, attic. The, the attic. What is the problem with the attic? There was no insulation in None. the attic. A correction, Yana. There was insulation yeah. above the scuttle hole. So when you opened it up and looked inside, you would see insulation there. But you would have to actually gain entrance into the attic. So the, the entire attic, attic was, not, was insulated. not insulated. And we have pictures of that. And before we gave Mr. Pollard an opportunity to give us a language lesson, what does the provision <laughs> say about that? Read it to me, please. It says, seller to have attic insulated installed. Attic. It's insulation, it, yes. There was insulation. There are photographs that seem to show that there was no insulation in the actual attic part. How do you explain that? I had attic insulation installed. Um, we had an eye-to-eye conversation. Like I said, we had a walkthrough that morning at 11 a.m. My bed was already gone. He knows that. They, was, they were there. And I showed him the pictures on the phone. He was like, oh, okay, you, I guess you did get it done. Did you show him photographs of the entire attic? I didn't go up there. The contractor sent me that. I'm not going to no attic. Do we have a copy of that? Yeah. I don't see insulation here. That's insulation. You see that stuff right there on the floor? On the right side, but I don't see anything on the left side. Well, it's a horrible printout. I didn't print that. Don't have that. So what's interesting about part two, about the trees, I'm going back to the trees. Mr. Pollard, you said you were going to pick one or the other because of the or language. And so you chose to remove the branches in direct contact with the home. So it says, indirect contact with or hanging over, but then there's that word and. And and means you have to also do what's after the and, and that is near the home. Did you remove branches near the home? Well, that's a separate conversation. I stopped at or, because it's remove tree branches in direct contact with, comma. Or hanging which, over. Hold on, comma, which is option one mm -hmm. or option two. The second part is option two, because it's like you want Apple juice There's no or, comma, though. If you want to be specific with it, I, I'm I don't just saying see a comma. my reasoning. If you want apple juice or orange juice and milk, like... What about the and part? What's after the and? That's after or, so that's part two. I did part one. I removed tree branches in, in direct contact with the home. I didn't do option two. When tree branches are touching the house, you can ruin the gutters, can get inside squirrels and stuff like that, so I moved the stuff that was touching the house because that can be indirect damage to the home. All right. We'll have to come back to that. I will, don't worry. Yeah, I know you will. What happened the day you were supposed to move out? The day of closing, which, uh, and also you can move to uh, page 28. Of your evidence? Yeah, okay. defendant 28, because we were supposed to close the day before, but they had, I don't, I don't know, some traveling schematics. But I'm, I'm cool, the whole transaction, cool. Let's push it back. You want to push it back? Let's push it back. I had to move all my movers and stuff like that because I can't sleep outside, you know what I mean? So, day of, there's a walkthrough that morning, and I received some super condescending attitude the whole time. I mean, the whole day. I don't know what it was. Maybe didn't like my face. Maybe I looked like somebody he never liked. I don't know. Very condescending the whole day. But at the end of well, the day... Well, you know, day, moving is stressful, too. Hmm? Moving can be stressful. I'm the move. I'm the one packing stuff. But, but <laughs> they, they also... Y'all were coming from out of town, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It can be stressful. He won't move in. He, well, that's, they not living in that house. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I was, I'm stressed. I'm the one packing stuff and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So the day of moving, while I'm trying to move all my stuff out, they come and park in the driveway while we trying to, you know, move all type of stuff. So and they he, slowed you down? Oh, my God, big time. He walking in between me, talking about, oh, man on a mission. Yeah, what do you think I'm doing? I'm trying to get out of your house, sir. You know what I'm saying? He bumping it word for word. He well, he's bumping all into me the whole time, just being weird. If you just get out of me and my guy's way, we'll get all this stuff out of the way. I even tried to give him the extra flooring. He's talking about, no, get all that stuff. I said, that's the extra flooring for you if you, in case you needed to replace or wanted to see what kind of flooring it was. And then I turned around, his his behind is over there scooting it on back, taking it. Am I wrong? Yes. 